So I'm gonna take you guys up to Bowman Barn, which I'm gonna get ready to sketch today. There it is right there. There's Bowman Barn. When I last painted it, it was white. And now it's, it's actually red now. This is just one of the oldest barns in the area. And isn't that beautiful? So I kind of wanted to show you guys the scene live that I'm going to do of the Bowman Barn. I think the window is open. Look at that. So come with me today. I'm going to do a doodle on Bowman Barn. Oh, sorry about that. I started drawing because um, I put some Indian ink in my pen. And I started drawing. So. Doing the same scene, I want to really check this paint and see. You know when you draw, when you doodle, remember that it is doodle. Don't spend too much time creating masterpieces. Because let's not forget what it is, it's doodle. You know, so, I'm trying to find parts around the barn, parts around here. Color is gonna dictate the rest. So there's the barn, there's the trees, there's my doodle. This is my frame. I like to draw a frame because you know, it gives it character. And you see how the two lines are going over each other there? That's one of the tricks in doodling. If you put two lines or a few lines, you draw over a few lines. You end up pulling out shapes that you want to pull out, like these guys. I want to pull these guys out. So now, I'm going to use this brush. I know it's kind of big, but it's uh, I'm going to use this brush to fill in my ideas in color. And this is um, this is the company's paint, Prima. This is Prima's paint, these are their colors. So I'm gonna use their colors, their paint, to put down these color renditions. I think I need more water. I'm kinda just putting in the blacks, I guess. I don't want the, can you guys see my, let me see if I can share this image. Because you need to see my paints too. There it is, that might be better, huh? Okay, so they had to put this box together for me, Prima did, only because they're sold out, because their price on this box is not expensive at all. This retails for $25, extremely good value. Just putting in some greens. Mix it in with that light green there. Might even put a little brown in it. Well, actually, I just want the light green.
already started putting in the darks. Don't want to put it everywhere. This is the part of the painting that is uh, a stop and go. Keep it, keep it there in the fresh area. Alrighty, let's see if we can get some, some dark colors going. To summarize, I'm gonna say that after doing all the swatches with Prima watercolor paints from my Prima watercolor set here, um, what I found is that I really love this can. It was one of the things that drew me to it. Did you guys see this uh, finger hold that you get your finger in there? And you can open the can up and it has two palettes. Um, but you could see the piece I created down here on on this um, from this uh, paint and I thought it was good you know for me to recap I would say get yourself a really nice quality brush this is a really nice quality brush I gotta tell you Red Sable uh, get yourself some decent paint this set sells for $25 from Prima it's uh, Prima paints and get yourself a nice ink pen it doesn't have to be as great as this it could be uh, less than this. I had a few examples here. I can't find them now. But get yourself uh, those things and I think you should be on your way to uh, doing some really nice work and doodling. So until my next time when I do some more doodles uh, I'm gonna leave you guys with this picture of Bauman Barn which I um, photographed down the street from my gallery and uh, it used to be white. You've seen those paintings and now it's red. So I'll leave you with my watercolor music.